Joining me on the programme today is a man very well known around Northern Ireland. It's Mr James Nesbitt. James, it's a pleasure to have you here in the University of Ulster. Lovely to be here. I'm be the Chancellor. Where else would I be? Mm-hmm. So, can you tell me a bit about today's talk? How do you think it went? No, great. I mean, you know, it's... Uh, uh, the most important relationship I feel I have is the relationship that I have with the students. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... Uh, I was thrilled to be given that opportunity. Um, I thought we covered a lot of topics. I thought uh, there was passion, there was um, uh, a lot of sense taught. And um, no, I'm delighted to be part of it. I mean, it's the, the main thing is when I see how um, engaged the students are in the university um, and indeed engaged with their uh, tutors as well, the relationship. You can often see that that relationship is quite an easy relationship. And um, so, no, it's. Um, it was a, a very rewarding experience. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big fan of Stanley's Lucky Man. Can you mm. tell me through how season two is going? I, know, I believe you were telling me you're actually filming it as, at the moment. Yeah, uh, I'm five months into it. Uh, I think we've. I think it's really. Uh, it's come on a lot. I think. I think we now are a bit more confident about what the show is, about what the the genre is, what the tone is. Um, I think it's very much more kind of, even though it's a contemporary and, and real setting. Um, with 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 very real and human characters, of course, at the at the centre of it is this rather extraordinary notion, the fantasy based Marvel type notion mm-hmm. of someone um, who has the ability to control luck. I mean, Stanley himself always said that that was the superpower he wanted more mm-hmm. than anything, and Stan's still involved in it. So I think where we are is that we've introduced a new character. Um, all I would say is that there may be more than one bracelet out mm-hmm. there. Okay. Um, so there's, uh, but it's it's it, you know it still has London very much as an extra character as a backdrop. Um, I think Harry Clayton, my character, um, begins to understand his relationship with the bracelet more, but begins to be troubled because of that. Um, uh, there's still great excitement, and Stan has another cameo in it, and Stan is very involved in the show now. So mm. it's it's wonderful. It's an incredible opportunity to get to work with the guy who created. You know, Spider-Man, Iron Man, all those Marvel characters. So did you get a phone call from Stan? Did Stan phone you up and go, listen, I want you to be in this here? Was, was it that no, or was it through the agent? No, it was through, I, I did, uh, they, I was offered to me, but Stan was part of that process. Mm-hmm. And funny enough, actually, next week, I'm doing, as part of the marketing, I'm doing a big long conversation with Stan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I'm going out to meet him. I mean, Stan just announced uh, and introduced the trailer for uh, season two at his own Comic-Con last mm-hmm. week. Which I couldn't go to, so he's very involved. It was nice to hear season two was renewed because sometimes you get those seasons, you just get a season one. No, I think it might have run for a while. Mm. So, what's your normal response you get from meeting, fa- meeting your fans? What's been the weirdest thing? You're that's much ever better happened? looking in real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have, you ever, have you ever had any weird fans that come up to you and kind of give you something like a weird, like I made this for you, or is that not? Uh, no, I get a lot of stuff in the post. When I did Beaufort and the Hobbit, um, I just got uh, endless, or I got a lot of people sending me photos of them with a hat they'd made, like a Bofor hat. Um, yeah, you get a lot of you get a lot of fan art. Mm-hmm. Um, some better than others, uh, but for the most part, when people come up, they're just you know. I mean, one of the great curses of my life now, and I hate to say it, is but for people in my position, is the camera phones are terrible. Oh, terrible. yeah. Mm. I mean, because it's a shame, because you don't really engage with people now as much as I think you would have in the old days. I think when people generally wanted to come up and talk to you before, um, or, or maybe take an autograph, and they would get an autograph, have a chat. And as much as people might want to do that still, mm. they're so, um, we're so sort of, uh, uh, kind of, obsessed nowadays mm-hmm. even though we might not think it mm-hmm. with the notion of you know social media get yeah. it on social media so quite often people come up and they just want a photo and then yeah. you don't even get to have a chat which is a shame in a way mm-hmm. but um no for the most part people are very nice and they'll talk about different shows mm-hmm. i mean it's interesting to see uh those that will talk about um i mean lucky man even though it's a sky show although it was a very successful sky show mm-hmm. people are really the people that like lucky man mm-hmm. are the People that really want to talk about it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, whereas with other shows, people just say, "Oh, I like your work." But, but yeah, but, but Lucky Man seems to kind of stir something mm-hmm. in those that like it. Mm-hmm. Well, James, it was an absolute pleasure uh, talking Lovely. to you today, and I hope to see you on the TV very soon. Nice to talk to you. Thank you very much. And Cheers. well done, you did a very good job. <laughs>